hydro tank. Whose wife complains about high water bills? Can't be just me. You know, I, I like to look at that power bill, but my wife, she'll nickel and dime me on this water bill because I use the sprinkler so much. Well, where I live in uh, Alabama, we're getting to that hot season where um, we can go a couple of weeks, uh, which I know that's not a lot for some of these areas like Arizona and out on the West Coast, but uh, we can go two or three weeks without rain. Um, that can really put stress on the lawn. So, we're gonna try Hydrotain. Okay, Hydrotain is a root zone moisture manager. Basically, what it does is once you put it in uh, your, your soil, it, 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 it adheres to the roots and it kind of just draws in moisture uh, from the air and everywhere. Um, kind of like a magnet, it says. So it just pulls in moisture and holds it so uh, you don't have to water as much. So if you're not having to water as much, make your water bill go down and um, it keeps that grass looking nice. And it says, uh, hydrotain that it can reduce you can reduce watering about to 50% so um, if it really works like that um, it's gonna work great all right now so you can get it in this just hose in sprayer like I did uh, or you can also get it in a granular um, and you can also get it in a big gallon bottle too if you just want to mix with water now if, if you go with the hose in sprayer uh, you want to do nine ounces per thousand this bottle is 32 ounces yeah, this bottle right here is 32 ounces, so we want to do nine ounces per thousand um, and reapply once every three months, or you can do uh, a third rate and do it, you know, once a month. You want to do a monthly application, do it at a third rate, a third of the rate. Um, you can also um, put it on trees, shrubs, um, potted containers, um, like raised beds. So on my raised bed garden, I'll put it on that too. Of course, make sure you read the label. Uh, before you apply any of this. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna put this out at nine ounces per thousand in my lawn. But we're also gonna do a test um, that we'll follow up with. Um, I'm gonna get, I have some, just some dirt um, that I'm gonna put in a couple containers. Uh, one of the containers, I'm just gonna soak with water. The other container, uh, I'm gonna soak with water. Then I'm going to apply this and I'm just gonna put it up and we'll give it a few days and we'll see um, if this works. If you're wanting to put this on any of your potted plants, um, it says to thoroughly saturate um, the soil first and then apply this or just heavily dilute it, uh, dilute it if you're just doing it out of the gallon uh, bottle. So I'm going to put this out on the lawn and then we'll do the test. Okay, on the hose end, it has the little tabs. Um, it has the off and it has a water tab and then it has it on. So, um, hook the hose in and then turn it on and prime it a little bit just using the water. So that comes out really fast, so you need to haul some butt uh, when you're getting ready if you're using the hose and sprayer. Move fast. <laughs> okay, it says on the directions you're going to, within the first hour, uh, going to do a little light watering to make sure you get uh, all the hydrotain off the, you know, the grass blades down into the soil. And same thing if you're doing it on a garden or potted plants or anything like that. And then uh, within the 24 hours, water it in thoroughly to make sure it gets down into the root zone and all that. Usually it's going to take about a quarter inch to a half inch um, of water. Alright, as far as the test we're doing, I just got some old uh, Scott's topsoil. 
that I got a couple of my kids just sand buckets. I'm gonna fill up both of them um, with this topsoil. All right, they both have just about the same amount of topsoil. So what it says on the hydrotain bottle is, um, if you're wanting to put it in any potted plants, to thoroughly um, saturate, like I said, the soil, and then spray the hydrotain on it. What we're going to do is, I'm going to thoroughly saturate the pink one just with water. And then I'm going to saturate the blue one with water, then apply hydrotain, then I'm gonna set them to the side, and we're gonna check back with it in a few days. Okay, like I said, so I'm gonna set that to the side and uh, we're gonna flash forward. Uh, let's give it a few days and just see if there's a big difference in how dry the soil is and the pink one where I didn't apply the hydrotain. Okay, so let's fast forward uh, to a few days from now and we can see if we can tell a difference um, in the two pots of topsoil that I have up there and see if the hydrotain um, is making a difference in keeping the soil wet. All right, folks, it's been right at seven days a week since we did the test with the hydrotain in the buckets. So let's go do a follow-up and uh, see how we're doing. Okay, so the blue one we saturated and uh, sprayed with hydrotain. The pink one, I just saturated with water. So let's dump this pink one out first. Now let's dump out the blue one. Whoa. <laughs> that one was just wet with water. I soaked this one with water, then spray with hydrotain. That's gonna be a mess. <laughs> okay guys, so I think that's, this is not some you know huge scientific uh, discovery or just this is not some professional um, in the lab testing, but I think this is a pretty decent example of how hydrotain works. Um, the one in the pink bucket, the dirt was still pretty wet. Um, uh, I've kept it kind of in the shade, not in the sun completely, um, every single day. But uh, the dirt in the blue bucket was sat right beside the pink bucket, and look how much more water and moisture was in the bucket. Same amount of dirt, same amount of water applied. Hey. You seem to always make it in these videos making some noise. <laughs> well, it's really bright outside. Anyway, so I think this is a pretty good example, like I said, of how hydrotain works, how it can be beneficial um, in pulling in moisture and reducing water. Um, you're watering up to 50%. Um, I believe it um, after just that little bit of a simple bucket test. So I appreciate you watching, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Drop a comment, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, let me know if you have any questions, um, maybe something I did wrong, something I did right. Just let me know. I appreciate you watching. This is Chris with The Lawn and Life. Everybody have a good weekend. If you want to put this on any of your potted plants, it says to thoroughly saturate.